guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be installing this wig from elva hair and this was originally a 613 wig but i did go ahead and add some roots on it because my customer wanted to try some light brown roots i did it i did not film me doing these roots because i have a few videos on roots so i'm just going ahead now and getting it together i've placed it on her head i'm gonna be waxing down the hair so i can keep the baby hairs well the loose strings parted and in position i'm going ahead and cutting around her ears once i finish doing that i'm gonna go ahead and begin to hot comb it and you guys are going to watch this slay so first thing i'm doing now is just hot combing the top and i'm just trying to lay it flat as you can see one side is flatter than the other and that's just because of how the hair was put in the dryer so now I'm just going in with a razor and I'm just cutting around it and with my makeup brush I'm going ahead and add the, adding a little bit more makeup to the lace. Now I'm taking my so melted lace glue and I'm going to be only putting two layers of this glue. This is a very strong hold glue so you don't really need more than two layers. Once it's dry I begin to apply the wig and y'all this wig it melted really nice i think that um i did have to put a little extra touch to it it didn't automatically melt but it wasn't that far off from her complexion i'm actually going to show you guys my process of actually melting it some more first i'm going to finish gluing on her frontal and making sure there isn't any parts that are still lifted up everything is fully glued down then we'll begin to move on to the melting it part so now I'm just going in with my makeup. The lace is fully glued down. I'm now going in with some powder that matches her complexion and I'm just going around the hairline. Once I do that, I'm going to take my Got To Be Free Spray and I'm just going to put that along the hairline. That just gives it an extra way to melt. It kind of puts the hair, like it just lays the hair way better. So now that I've put that melt band on, we're going to let that sit for a few. I'm going to go ahead and actually fly on her entire head and blow dry it. I'm blow drying it right now just to kind of, you know like how Dominicans blow your hair out first? That's what I do. I realized that blow drying out the hair with hot air and doing it like this really kind of, it doesn't fly on it because I'm not doing it that intense. But it gives you a more sleek and like a more flat ironed look your hair gets more straight and prettier when you do it that way now i'm taking my sleek mist spray and i'm spraying that all over her hair this is a shine spray and it is also a heat protectant so that is why i always use it before flat ironing you guys this is my conair flat iron that you guys always ask me about it's the conair titanium flat iron this is actually a new one so it looks busted but it's not as busted as my first one and i've been using my first one for over three years now okay and no it's never broken so now i'm just going ahead and i'm going to flat iron her whole head i'm going to be doing the left side first and then i will go ahead and do the right side off a of camera but as you guys can see there's going to be a huge difference from one side being flat ironed and one side not and this hair was very very nice for some blonde hair it wasn't dried out it wasn't fried out and it flat ironed very very pretty So now I'm just going ahead and flat ironing and hot combing between the parts of the hair as I go. So I'll flat iron a section, then hot comb it, then part it, flat iron it, and hot comb it again. I like to do it in small sections. This is how you get your hair to look super flat and defined and on fleek, y'all. This is the key to a flat, flat install. Do you see that, y'all? Do you see how good that looks? Like, it looks so good. Look at that. And you can clearly see the difference. Now I'm going in with my wax stick. I did go ahead and do the other side off camera. I'm now going to be parting her hair and fixing out any blemishes. As you can see from dyeing the hair, some of the dye did get in the part of the hair. So I went ahead with my tweezers and I plucked it out. After I finished plucking it out, I went ahead and got some dark brown powder makeup. And I just started to fix the lace. As you can see, I'm basically making the part a bit smaller. I'm using a foundation color that I would use basically on myself, a foundation powder. 
And after that, I'm going to be cleaning her part with concealer. But for now, I'm still using the brown powder, which actually blends in with her dyed. Now, I'm going in with the concealer, and I'm going to just bleak out that part. And now, I'm going to begin to cut the bob. She wanted it to be a certain length. She wanted it to be like right above her shoulders to where it wouldn't bend. So that's exactly what I did. You guys, I used some crappy scissors, but the cutting came out pretty nice. You just really got to take your time and just keep going over it. Make sure you guys are using your comb. I like to cut longer and then cut shorter because if you cut shorter, there's no bringing back that longness. But if you cut long, you will be able to correct your mistakes. So that is how I cut. And yes, at one point I did stop the cutting and I made her stand up so I can get a better view and be able to cut the rest of her hair better. But I just wanted to show you guys how I cut. Now I'm going ahead and bumping it. This is the final look. She didn't want any baby hairs. We kind of don't really like the blonde hair with baby hairs. So we skipped out on baby hairs today. But she really, really does love baby hairs. And if you guys have seen her on my channel before, we always do the most with our baby hairs, okay? But this was not a baby hair type of look. This was like a blonde and grown and blunt cut bob. So this is now the final look. I'm going to go ahead now and just seal the top of her head and basically fleek everything out, which is the final steps to my hair process. I'm just combing it out. You see how that bob is flowing, y'all? I'm now going to be taking my Slickum Spritz and my Sleek Mist Spray. And I just sprayed that on the top of her head. I spray the spritz first and then the sl Sleek Mist Spray. And then I just go over with my hot comb. And this is the final look, y'all. Make sure you guys check out Elva Hair for some bomb affordable hair. This tutorial was so cute. She looked this so good. I'm actually going to upload her when she actually got her makeup done and everything like that. So you guys can see. I'm going to do it right now. Okay, my client did not come to play. So this is the final look. Make sure you guys check out Elva Hair for some nice quality blonde hair.